go. All right, no better call. My name is Paddy McWee, and I'm interviewing one of the oldest men in the area tonight. Um, uh, Jack Murphy is his name, and uh, if anyone wants to hear the true story of Pickett, Jack Murphy is the man because his whole family was involved and lived up near it and all the rest. So right. we'll start the interview tonight, yeah. Um, I suppose uh, we'll start about the, the pier, like the, the famous and all the talk about the pier, and there's often uh, different versions of the pier, but we're definitely going to get the, the, the perfect version tonight because uh, Jack Murphy lived up there and um, was part of that thing up there. And I suppose just to describe where the pier was, you know, the pier is in between the Tullow Road and the, the, the road between uh, Blansford Cross and Ballypickus. It's halfway between them. It's yeah. in a quite little area down there, down the lane. Yeah. And the man we're interviewing tonight lived right down at it. He was only maybe 120 yards from that pier. That's right. So, um, if ever we're going to get a true version, I've, I've got different versions of this, but we're going to get the perfect version tonight mm -hmm. because Jack Murphy knows exactly the version because he, he I was telling you before, he lived within 20, 20 metres of it. Uh, of that place, yeah. At this stage, um, I suppose, Jack, I'd have to ask first of all, what year were you born in, Jack? 1930. 1930, so we're going back a bit, like, yeah. yeah. And uh, you have lived half your life up there, anyway. I lived, I lived bigger. I was, I, the family was there. My grandmother married a man by the name of Ben Gorman. And my mother was her daughter. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So we were there. And when my grandmother died, she was the oldest woman in the locality at 93. Yeah. And I was 14 at that time. So I had a fair knowledge what she used to tell me about picking. Yeah, you, your mother lived to be 93 years of age, did she? No, know? my grandmother was 93. All oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. My grandmother was 93. Three, right. But she was with us, like, and, and my mother was her daughter. Yeah. So we were all reared together in the one. There were two houses in, in, in Bernard's Grove. And we're, we're right, the two houses belong to the garments. Yeah, well, 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 yeah, yeah, I know where them houses uh, are now, yeah. Understand. And they're only about 130 or 40 metres apart. That's all up again, man. Up right? again, yeah. each other, yeah. 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 And, and when, when, when my grandmother died, her, she was wake for two nights in the home place or the farmer's house. And the next day, her funeral went out, out the back way, down by Tom Cass, out to the what you call the, the road, road, road. road, road. Yeah. Out, that was the right of way out that time and the old people used to call it they wouldn't call it a road they'd call it a, 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 a funeral a, road what? a funeral road I well uh, you used to call it a car road oh, yeah. did you ever oh, hear yeah. that? Yeah, you yeah. used to have a car you used to call it a car road but she went out there anyway and back around there was no St. Pat's graveyard she went back around to the, the graveyard in Tullow yeah. or in Abilese Back all around oh, the, the, the graveyard beside the uh, chapel now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, and people would say, why didn't she come out to the Bog Ridge here? Because that, that was the end of the road. Yeah. That had to be quicker and short rain, but the right of way that, that time was down through Tom Carr, down to Paddy, out to where Paddy, or George Scully is the lower one. Yeah, yeah. And my father also went out that way. His yeah. owner went out that way, and he went back up. And that was the road where that picket used to use when he was the yeah. landlord. Yeah, or, yeah. Well, and yeah. there was here been a third one going, but I won't say anything about that. I'll talk about it later on, Jack. Well, you can, Tom Cal tell you that over a pint beyond his feet. Yeah. I won't mention that. Yeah, yeah but the Gormans then would say, you were talking about two families near this pier, now this famous pier we're talking about. Yeah. So the two Gormans lived there, so you can tell me your mother. That's right, yeah, 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 and, yeah. yeah, and the old Gormans. Yeah. That, that happened, we'd say, that, that pier is there over 200 years. Over 200 years. I, yeah. I say so, yeah. yeah. And I tell you in a minute before we finish, why the stories that I used to tell people, and you can tell you that before, they were yeah. on the road that are dead. I have one aspect so, of so, so, so you, your father came from Wexford and yeah. he came to work in Blands, yeah, as a estate, and, yeah. came and he met your mother met down, down mother, the dance floor yeah, yeah. At, at Blansford Cross. Yeah, yeah, and you mentioned Bernard's Grove there. Bernard's Grove was up near this pier, and you could see how they call it Bernard's Grove because there's grove trees oh, there. Yeah, yeah, there's two yeah, dozen trees yeah. down there. But there's no such place really as no, Bernard's Grove. No, no, no. Drum Shelly is the place. Is it, is the what's, it, what's the town land? Why it's called Bernard's Grove, maybe Tom Carl will tell you. It's called after Bernard Pickett. All right, all the, all there's a connection back to Bernard Pickett. Yeah, well, see, when I look at Bernard's Grove and you see the Grove down yeah, there, you think yeah, straight away that yeah, Bernard and the Grove, yeah, there's a connection yeah, yeah. there. That's, that's yeah, it, yeah. yeah. 
and the two houses were just up, up nearly up again one and one. So if you walked into the present day and I went home, Carl, I'll tell you this one, and if I said to John Day or someone, there was a house, a lovely house, attached house, two story house there one day. He'd say, I'm joking. There's yeah. not, there's not a sign of a house here now. Isn't that Tom? That's true. Not yeah. a sign of a house. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, things are true. You be telling the truth, and things happen years ago. People go out of memory. Like, I, I could, I drank tea and then I slept in it and then what? Yeah, in that place there. Yeah. That's house, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So we're up again, one or we're all related, like. Yeah. Know? Well, I remember the house there, and it was a man by the name of Dan. Gro Dan, Dan Gorm. Gorm. Yeah. And Dan Gorm. Two sisters, had he? My, my two sisters. Yeah. My my uh my grandmother's husband was Dan Gorman. And yeah. every generation after that was called back Dan. Even I have a Danny Malibu in, in, in Your grandson, in, yeah. Grandson, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That, that's what down down but now we we had Dan Gorman and Bride and was it what Mag, was Bride and Mag and Bride Ryan. So they lived where this where this thatched house was now, but yeah, that's that's yeah, demolished yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that, that's demolished now. That's that was their home. But that, that's only about one hundred and fifty yards away from where you were born. That's all up again, me. Yeah. So the total, but the yeah, pier, yeah. the pier was at the end of Dan the Farm and the Mads. I, I I tell you about the pier now. Yeah. The pier was I can still see it as I sit here now. There was a little raw a little wall running from the end of Garmin's house. Yeah. Gable Inn we call it, and it, uh, at the end of it there was a pier. Yeah. I can still see it in this present day, there was a pier, and the, the reason the wall was there and the pier was, and it was dividing the farmyard from the haddock. Oh, I don't yeah. know whether Mary Wayne knows anything about haddock or not. She, she, she does. Yeah. She does. Yeah. <laughs> the, haddock was a, um, the haddock was the place where you'd trash the corn, yeah. uh, reek the corn and thrash it and put bits of it in and things like that. Yeah. And that was called the haddock. Yeah. And that was up again in the tree, you were talking, up again in our house. Yeah. That was the reason. Yeah. And, uh, the wall, the, the walls them times, the pier them time, people say about well, standing in a hundred, two hundred years, they, there was no thing as cement out that time, as you know. That's right, yeah. There was not, yeah. And, and the old people, and my grandmother and them people, the old people used to say, when they build the stone, if you put two stones over one another, they slip off. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And yeah. they used to put clay through the stones. Yeah, mud, mud and clay, and yeah. Mud, I, I sort of stick to the key yeah. from them slipping. Yeah. So that, then after after years after that, then they, they, they got lime and sand, and, that, yeah. that, and then the cement came. But that pier is standing there over 200 years ago, and it's... Uh, as maybe a little bit sort of got he would hurt. Yeah, I'd see the edges of a jack in the fall. This pier now is about seven foot tall. Yeah. And about, is it would it be three foot wide maybe and two yeah, foot that, that, that's three right. foot wide and two foot. So that's still standing there. That's still standing to the present day. And, and I there's think there's no stone wall connecting to it around now. Do you no, as not I just Tom Cannon might tell you I have a fair old memory too, but it was right in the way them times. Yeah. Them times. But it's not in the way of Anton now because everything's gone around it. Yeah. yeah but it's sure. still standing there. But but back in the past it was in the way, Jack was. Oh it? god, it's really in the way. Yeah. I saw a horse what what John Dave might or Pam Carr or yourself even yeah. would talk. I seen a horse run away one day with a bogey. We were yeah. drawing hay with bogies and I stuck the pier in, 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 in the yoke and had a, we had a yoke to horse to get the, the bogey and the horse. You know what I mean? That, I'm it? sure. There's, there's oh, yeah. the shaft of the bogey stuck it in the pier. Stuck in the pier. No, the barrel of the bogey stuck what? in the pier. He went, to right. go, he, had room, he went to go through. The horse had room to go through it yeah. with a bogey hat. Oh, no, no. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that, no. So he couldn't go through. I mean, Tom Minty, you do end up. No, 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 it's perfect. No, no, yeah, we got yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. My, my mother, my grandmother told me all the stories about Pickett. I was 14 years of age and she told me the stories about Bernard Pickett. Bernard Pickett was a uh, a gentleman, uh, uh, a wealthy gentleman, she used to call him, or a wealthy landlord. Yeah. Either yeah. one or the other, whichever you like. Yeah, yeah. Bernard Pickett was, and he was also, maybe Mary Bitten never heard that, a tyrant. Did you ever tell of a tyrant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I hear him tell of tyrants on a day. <laughs> what? Yeah. What did you say? She did. I, on a daily basis. A, a tyrant. I'd, I'd, I'd ask my grandmother, this is so it's gone, I'd be harmed for 14 years. Well, younger, ten years yeah. ago, asked, what was a tyrant? And she'd say a tyrant was, she'd be very strict. She'd say a tyrant was a, 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 a terrible man that would take the roof from over your head. Oh, yeah, Did yeah. you ever hear that saying? I've got it, did you? Yeah, you're uh, And I'd be looking, up, I'd be saying, wonder, what takes the roof over your head? <laughs> and I'd ask her why. And, and she'd say, I'll take the roof from over your head. She said that 
why would, would that happen? And I and she said, people that would be able to pay their dues, did you ever tell the dues yeah, that, that, yeah. that yeah. would be like, like rent or something now? Yeah. And they take the, the land or the... Mm -hmm. And 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 the big people, you yeah, absolutely. One to pay, pay 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 your dues, yeah. Yeah, and pay your dues. He come say to land or you know you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the pick pick it on to the vast area, Jack. Pick it on to the big area all around there, and he used to go. He ha when the old people, my mother, grandmother said had a an ass and Crichton. They used to call it a Crichton. Yeah. That's what we call it. A, 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 <laughs> what do we call it? Trap. 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 Yeah. Trap. And he had a carriage. He had a four wheel carriage pulled by two horses. Yeah. And yeah. you used to see up uh, in a whip up, up in, in the front. Yeah, but he owned it, he owned it nearly from Blansford across. He owned the, it all around the whole area, yeah. she said. The, and from Blansford across to Dory Cross. Yeah. To up to around the Red Hill. Oh, 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 that area. Oh, he, he even owned it, uh, as I told Ned Dago or the rest of Moffat, he owned the Grady's Bog, all oh, that area around there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And area. did he come back to the other side of Blansford across much? No, 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 not not the other side. You didn't know Paddy Max Field. No, no, none of them. No, nothing to do with Bland. Yeah. the other side. What right. we call? What did we say the name of the place was for? Drummer Skellig. Drummer Skellig. Drummer Jimmy Skellig. Bernard Pickett. Bernard 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 Scoven. He got his name from the the things that happened with, with Bernard Pickett. Yeah, that's how we got. Yeah, well, we'll get into Bernard Pickett now. Bernard Pickett saw you were saying he was, he was a, a tyrant of a landlord. A, a tyrant of a landlord. Yeah. And with, with, with Bernard Pickett, my grandmother, you know, she knew, had a fair idea. At that age, she'd be hearing it from her younger people. Uh, and he, the people at, at the countryside were terrified of him. They were terrified yeah. with him that if you go on this road, like what we talking about, Tom Cad, you used yeah. to travel these roads, and he, was, he had a uh, a, a terrible attitude that people shouldn't be on the road only him. And yeah. what she used to say was, he'd yell at people, which I suppose you want me to say, oh, shout. Oh, he'd yeah. yell at people, the half of the road, yeah. and he'd go on these cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Such a domineering figure. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to go back to the part now about the woman, Leah. No, well, he, he, he was gentry, he allowed himself like so. He was. He oh, was the boss. He was, a, he was above, above everyone else. Yeah, so he was travelling with, with, had he two horses pulling his, two horses pull pull his the, four wheel carriage? Pulling a four wheel carriage. So this is where the, this is where the, the problem started. So he may have yeah. a woman, he was he going towards Abeliques. He, he may have all, he was going one day, we'd say, where my father and mother may be, not, I don't know what that was, down the old way, and this old, this old widow woman was walking the road. Yeah. And I used to say to my grandmother, harmless as he was at that age, uh, what, what was a widow woman? And she'd say, a widow woman was who lost her husband and who was left maybe with a small family. Yeah. And in bad circumstances, and there would have been no pensions in them times. Yeah. Left in bad circumstances and poor. Yeah. So this widow, this, he met this widow woman and he, as my grandmother said, he, he yelled at her yeah. and she wouldn't obey him. She didn't obey him. Right. And when she didn't obey him, he stopped the coach and the horses or, um, uh, and got down and he used his whip. And oh, he yeah. brutally beat her on the side of the road. He oh, brutally yeah. beat her on the side of the road and left her dying. Yeah. Left her dying on the side of the road. And when, and when the, someone, when the woman found her, or he got up in his carriage and went on his way yeah. and found her. And she put a widow's course at him that one day the same thing would happen to him. Right, yeah. You, yeah. Have, you talk, often you heard of a widow's course. Of course, now, absolutely. Widow's yeah. widow's course. Oh, and yeah. one day it, that he, had the same fate as a brutal past his whole life. Yeah, yeah, she, he was so and cruel to her on the road. He was so cruel to her. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then the next morning he went to go yoke his horses. The grandmother or people yeah. said, yoke your horses. Nowadays, or Tom Cadd's time, we'd be putting on the tackles. tackles. Yeah, yeah. They called it yoke. The you yoke the horses. horses. Don't you? They, that's what they expect. Yoke the horses. And the horses were supposed to be turned into. Uh, what the hell? Well, she, like, the, I tell you, now have it come to my head. Monsters. Oh, all right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monsters. Yeah, yeah. Monsters. The two horses turned yeah, into this. Monsters, yeah. yeah. And they killed the owner, the man that. Bernard Pickett. Killed, the Bernard Pickett that killed. They uh, killed him dead. Killed him dead. Okay. Walked him into the ground, trampled him into the ground. And the, my grandmother would tell me the people in the loca locality were so overjoyed that Pickett was gone over existence. All right, right. Yeah. So everything was back to normal again. He was gone out of existence. Yeah. And shortly after his death, to their dismay, 
the, the, the sound is the, the, the carriage and the horse's hooves, you know what I mean? Yeah, that? yeah, cool. It was heard in the countryside. Yeah. It was heard all over the countryside. Right. And, the, and I used to pass the, the roadway as Tom had on out of his garments, I used to pass close to Gordon's house. Right yeah. beside Gordon's house. Yeah, well, we're talking about, I saw a little roadway, Jack, up beside where you were born. There's a little track up there. No, that, 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 that's not the track. No, that's not the track. The, what, came in from the Bog Bridge, down yeah. the road, came all the way from the Bog Bridge. Yeah. And, and came all the way from the Bog Bridge and out by Gorman's or some out by Gorman's house. House, where the attached house was. Yeah. Attached house, yeah. the old house. And to go to the left <coughs> or the right of the attached house? I, 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 I go on for its, for its road to, to lower. To lower, all got your horn upstream, yeah. 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 But, but anyway, the Gorman people, as my grandmother told me, got so upset with his. I came every night, at, they heard this thing every night at midnight. Midnight. Oh, midnight was it? Was and, and they got so upset with the, the cook and go to sleep or the cook and do this, that, and the other, and they were decided to go and leave the area. Right. Go, and someone. Move over, yeah? You go, 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 cook and stick it, like, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now it was, I was not burning a picket in, in, in place, but it's burning a picket spirit. Spirit, oh, yeah. yeah. And was the noise of horses now in the carriage? You could hear, they could hear the noise of the hooves, what they used to call oh, the yeah. hooves of the horses, horses and the wheels of the carriage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Passing by. Passing yeah. by at midnight, midnight every night. Yeah. And someone told them there was a priest somewhere that had special powers. Yeah. And what, what my grandmother used to say was divine powers. Yeah. Oh, you, you ever hear that yeah. come yeah. Yeah. Divine, divine power, divine. powers, special powers, yeah. where he, where he, he what's just the word we use, can't be banished. A banished spirit in his time, a special power. Yeah. So, so this priest came to call him. They the, the went to the priest yeah. uh, and the, 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 told the priest their story and the priest as volunteer, the whole way call it, yeah. to come to Gorman's house at midnight. Right. And the priest came, according to my grandmother's story, the priest came on horseback, oh, yeah. no tractors, no car, came on horseback, yeah. Yeah. and he brought with him a servant boy. Yeah. You know what I mean by that? Oh, do you? I know it's a boy. Like the had, she said to me, they had a vessel of holy water. I don't know what vessel, Mary Whalen might know, I don't know what vessel was called, like a jewel. And there was something in the vessel, some kind of an instrument oh, that yeah. she put down in the vessel and it sprayed the water. water. And yeah. to this present day, uh, that 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 thing is still going on in the chapels. I oh, used to oh, yeah. so, yeah. where John Day often got a, 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 a drop from the water, water, <laughs> water show in, in yeah. that, to come down the chapel with a servant by dip that and spread it around. Is that going yeah. to the prison? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, the prison? Yeah. That's going on to the present day. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, going back to the the the, the, the priest came and uh, the servant by and the servant by hell and he put a line of according to my grandmother, he put a line of holy water on the ground in front of the spirit when he you know, when they arrived. Oh yeah, yeah. And he, he held him there and three times the, the spirit tried to get loose. That's what you do uh, yeah. you get loose. And each time the spirit tried to get loose was the priest to put more holy water, left or right. Yeah. And by the time, by the third time, the priest had a ring of holy water all on the ground, right. where he held the, 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 where he held the spirit of Bernard Pickett. Yeah. And then he, and then he performed <coughs> his, uh, what would I say, he performed Powers. his duties or his power, and as I said about a little more going to the pier or the Abbey the Haggard, he, 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 vanished. He, he vanished the spirit of Bernard Pickett into the wall for eternity. They had never been seen or heard roaming the countryside at Bernard's Grove again. Yeah, right. Unless the pier was knocked or... Well, he didn't say anything about knocking the pier. All he right. said, for him in the pier, yeah. for, he was <coughs> there for all eternity. Right. There was right. people said, oh, there was people said them times, oh, if the name of God goes out to be... But it's still the name. People just realise this, but there's still the <coughs> connection in the Yeah. Do you know what I mean with that? Well, you may explain it but to Tom, me. But Tom Cal, yeah. Cal's and Gormans are related. Yeah. Is that right, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, and the Murphys. I'm related to you. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, so, you're related to me. Was it, when the name was in it, or a number of years, eight or hour, was it? Is that the way it was? What? But like, was he talking about the Gormans? The Gormans the were there for... Generations. Generations. I'm the last, I'm the last living... A generation of that age. Now, Jack, yeah, well, the, the, uh, this I'm, is important now. 
that this garment connection, like yeah, you, you said you're the... I'm the last living one. I have no, I have no uncles, no aunts that I, or what else would you have? First no. cousins. What? First cousins. No, first cousins. cousins. I'm the last of the old garment. Alright. There's not one life. I'm related to Billy Gorman, which is your loping baby. I'm second cousin. I have plenty of second cousins. I have no first cousins alive. I have no aunts alive. I have no uncles alive. Yeah. All dead. Yeah, but these were the two garments. Now, one was in the thatched house, and, and the other, other was in you, the house yeah, where you yeah, were born. Yeah, all the one garments. So the, the, the garments that was born in your house, now you're the last one generation. I, I, well, I are, I are the last of them. There's no one belonging to the other garments either. I know of Mike Brider. Well, Billy and the late Tim. Well, they, I, well, they, 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 they're garments out of the attached house. Aye, they're yeah. garments out of the attached house. Oh, yeah, yeah. so you're sure the garment out of the house. Yeah. yeah, but Tom Cal was it, asking about this glass door now. We're talking about picket is locked in the pier. That was, that was said that the, 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 the servant boy, would, would like, he the, the said at that time there was only one person to see a, a, a spirit. Maybe you often heard that, I don't know whether he did or not. Yeah. The, the boy was supposed to see him. He, he was able to say what Pickett looked like when he was young. That he walked into this last door and he was wearing this, this waistcoat, that a white waistcoat. He used to wear a white waistcoat according to the grandmother and a chain across it here. Yeah. A chain across where he used to watch for time yeah. in that. Pocket watch. And, and the boy, the, 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 what you call it, the servant boy was supposed yeah. to describe what he saw and that was Pickett. Now, All right. I don't know after that, like that but he described it which which. Uh, I, I, I added up to Pickett. They all named me yeah, that. Yeah, 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 he, yeah, he was yeah. saw his got this man going into the last door and we, 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 into, 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 into the field. Yeah, yeah. And he supposed to have found going in, going in like that, and that, that was the description. I, I, that's what they, they told me. All right, right, yeah. yeah. But anyway, when, when Pickett was, was uh, vanished to the pier, yeah. the garments had peace after had in the house and the they weren't haunted by the noise of his... Never, never again, but they're never again. I, when I show up to now, we, we have land, I have Danny Gorm's land beside it there. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going over 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning and I, I wouldn't worry me in the least and Tom Gard would be the same, wouldn't worry me in the least. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. But is everyone the same, Tom? Does some people have a suspicion of this area? Oh, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, well, I don't know if anyone has a suspicion of that area. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the, well, if you want to... There, there wouldn't be, there wouldn't have any fear in that area. I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't anyway. I don't yeah, know. I would, I would. Well, well, People with strangers might. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you a good one now. Tom, Catley Boyle tell you the same. He told us here on this floor, Tom Pyle was bailing hay in the field that I have now, but he was bailing it for Willie Gorman. Yeah. Willie Gorman left the grove and went down to, to, down to, um, to, I, down to Cass, down to, but this night it was getting late and, and Tom Pyle was bailing this hay and next to you he heard this woeful roar and he saw some white joke uh, in, in down in, in Dangong, no doubt Peter or Tom were yeah. there, there down there. I know, yeah. And Chasey got terrified. He left the whole yoke there and flew home to over beyond. And what and next morning what was there a fucking white ass? <laughs> 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 he talked Peter was back in the Right, that right, Kathleen. Yeah. He often told us that here. All right, because right. afraid, like, like you see, when you would have a fear, you would yeah. be you get more frightened, like. Yeah, yeah. I would it wouldn't cost me at all to go over there this minute now yeah, and go you. to that pier and let me two hands in the pier. Yeah, because Because the pier is standing there the very same as it was over two hundred years ago. Oh yeah, exactly. And exactly. I, I told the story, people asked me down through the years, like my say John Day or people like that. John Day even, but that's like that in Battle Row and Nabla. Yeah. I say, Jack. Tell me about this, the pier, Pickett's pier, you you were there, there, you know all about it. I'd say I would, I wouldn't go to the same details and tell you, you know, I'd say I would, about the Pickett being put in this pier. And then they said to me, and Jesus, maybe may you stopped me. And tell it to another lad, another lad being the officer, I wouldn't believe a word of it. I don't believe a word of it, say what, what you're saying. Yeah. And do you know what answer I give them persons as no. they give to you tonight? Yeah. I say, if you don't believe it, why don't you go in with a, a grow bar or a snake or a JCB and knock it down? Yeah. And it's there to a hundred years now and no one ever did that. Yeah, yeah. You know, the fight of mistake, you know the fight of mistake. Absolutely. Yeah, so no one ever, and Tom Cannell tell you that there, <coughs> no, that no one go in with a JCB or, or a... Or, or touch it. Or touch it. Or near the, the garments. Uh, Mick Fallon, uh, Billy Fallon's father on the horror over over the Port Leash Road. Yeah. His father put up a lane too. There was no lane too to Dan Gorm going to Tom Dan or the government. Yeah. Yeah. And his father put up a lane too. 
for Dan Gorman. Yeah. He built that house, Lurie Pitt, no, they were spent all day up to that. Yeah, yeah. And the pier was right like, like that. The pier was like that, and he'd come with the lane too. And Mick Whalen had the, the sledge in his hand yeah. to go and knock the pier. Go hit the pier and he spoke away a bit. Yeah, get out of the way. And Dan Gorman, they nearly had to get the doctor on, they nearly fell in the wrong way. Yeah. Then go and hit the pier. Yeah, but yeah. Jesus, oh, don't hit that pier, yeah, yeah. don't hit the pier. Yeah. And you might go to understand what was wrong. Yeah. That's what happened. Um, and the pier is still there. Right, right. So Dan Gorman uh, believed that you couldn't oh, start the pier. Every Gorman. I, I, I believe, I believe still, every Gorman and every one of I saw she believe, believe it. <coughs> if you don't believe it, Joe, why not go in and knock it down? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I don't know what harm, maybe. Did the servant run into bad health, the young lad? Ah, he died, he died. Is that the young lad that was with the priest was his garments and he died oh, within a year after. Right. No, 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 servant by that he had with him died after. Yeah. He died, 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 the fact that he saw a picket, Bernard Pickett. The fact that he saw a picket, and I think the priest, he had to say some of the words to the priest. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that time, like people say, that time, special priest had special powers. They had the powers, like. Yeah. I can remember, and I had one time another one, like, about about the holy water. You want to go for tea, Mary? Every house that time, sure? every old garments, every house that time had a holy water font inside the front door. Oh, Larry oh, Tom Gall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I was I stopped in garments several times and you'd bless yourself going out in the morning and the last thing you come in at night and you'd bless yourself again. Yeah. That was a, a fact. And when people that time, that I mean grandmother time uh, when they go into a different house or a new house, the first thing to do they get a priest to come and bless the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and you probably know that. Oh, God, absolutely. They yeah. bless the house with holy water. Yeah. And that'll tell you the power of holy water. People just didn't think, but the power of holy water. I often see my grandmother, when I was there, and the mother, if 12 of the then came, they'd get up and they'd spray the whole place with, 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 with holy water. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. I, I often heard too that he used to throw fire and brimstone around the yard. Do you ever hear about that? I did hear about that too, but I, I would, that was out of the carriage. Out of the carriage? Yeah. Okay. And there was going to be, they said they, they, if you got in, that when you got the priest, there was going to be a life lost in there. There was going to be a life lost in there. Now, I heard that too, but I don't know where that really showed up. But you were talking when he was a spirit and he went as a spirit. spirit. Oh, when he passed by, he picked stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picked stuff around the yard. Yeah. 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 He was such a the spirit of the picker was such a, a domineering man. Like he had no time for the poor. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like the old woman, the old woman that he yeah. that he he met to death. They were brutal there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And left her to die. He got up in his carriage and that was the same and went on and left her to die. Yeah. Would it be accepted that the widow's curse was turning the horses into monsters? Was that the way? Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what happened. Yeah, the widow. I uh, up to the present day, and maybe t he did too. I often heard it said it is terrible bad to interfere with a with a widow woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, oh, but yeah. left with a small family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Often tell a widow's curse. Yeah, absolutely. I've got to do I often I always heard the old people had quite different things and members were right. They always said a widow court never get involved with a widow. Oh yeah, yeah. A widow yeah. woman was that then yeah. different now they had big pensions and but that time that nothing. Yeah. I tell you another one. When 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 my <coughs> when my when my mother lost her husband and that had back in what they said, eighteen thirty. Nineteen thirty. And you know what 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 pensions you had that time? No, it said it was very small. Half a crown. Half a crown, yeah. And, and yeah. that is how back a year before I had nothing, that's not, that's yeah. all she had, half yeah. a crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a very generous woman, your uh, mother. Uh, she, she lived in the lodge, country. like, yeah, because I was like, country. country, yeah, because I would have yeah. heard stories yeah. from my yeah. uncle yeah. that she would have, what she would, yeah. when they'd there be. Was often, there was often 10, 15, maybe more people in, in the house uh, playing cards, and there'd be a cake baked for them following morning or following day. And that cake can be left before the day. Yeah. And they put nothing but the next morning go the same won't eat again. Buy yeah, yeah. It again. Yeah. yeah, I was lucky enough to remember your mother now. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah. was 78 when she died. Died, yeah, and I remember yeah. up at your house. And, and as I said to you there a minute ago about uh, asking me about picket and all that, that uh, and they say, I don't believe it, and more say, I do. And I say to the ones, I don't believe it, go and knock it down, then it'd be okay. Yeah. So that means <laughs> if people do believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, you right now. In your, in your lifetime, Jack, would you like to see that pier touched? No. Oh, no. Jesus, I wouldn't. No. no. 
I would not, and I'd hardly leave him not long enough to come back to look to see him. <laughs> <laughs> what my grandmother used to tell me when I was a young lad that people died years ago, this is talking about the priest now again, that they died and had a big death left after or, or done something wrong. They'd never rest in peace until that had been rectified. Until oh, the that. family fell off to death. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, why, that's why they talked about these spirits and all that. Oh, gotcha, yeah, yeah. The priest had big powers in your time, Jack Horst. Oh, big powers, big powers in, in, in my time. The holy water, I'm telling you, is... Has strength. Has strength. I talked to the grandchildren about it, and I talked to people, but oh, sure, they, they wouldn't have known about it. Yeah. The, holy, the holy water in the Hunka, in Gormans, I was mm. railed up with it. You go into Gormans and they, I wouldn't live in the house. The first thing you do, is dip your finger and bless yourself. So, holy water. And you're going out at night. Well, I'm going out with at night. I go down with my mother. We went down there with my husband. I used to go down there and ramble and yeah. come back up to the other place. And that's, if, if you were down with the, there was a step down in the garments, you know yeah. that time. Step down in the garments, no. Step down in the garments, no. And if you were down there, I don't bless you, they'd call you back. Call back. Call you back. That's right, call you back. Call you back. Big belief in that. big belief. So are you happy now with that? Yeah, we're very happy. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks ever so much to Jack Murphy for that. I, I, I'm delighted to be able to be a lady to tell you. Yeah, absolutely. I, and yeah. I've got as the fetishes from the horse's mouth from my grandmother. Absolutely. Show them that now. Oh, yeah. There's my grandmother. That's, and that's, that's Jack Murphy. Are you serious? I never saw that, no. That's, it, that's Jack Murphy. <coughs> and, and Martin Fierce like him. Fierce like him. Unbelievably like him. Fierce like him. Yeah, yeah. The boy yeah. can turn. <laughs> The chair for some time. I mean, that's his now. Tell the old woman now. Oh, she is Mark Murphy's in this picture. Mark Murphy. Oh, she's ahead of Martin. I can't believe it. That's your grandmother. There's the old woman now. Now, Tom Cal, that was taken down under the trees in the row. And her first name was? Hanora. 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 Yeah. And your mother's first name was? Jane. 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 It's an unreal that you look so much like Martin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that's unreal. I had a short trousers at that time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope you're all happy now. Anyway. Well, we're very happy, Jack. Thanks ever so much for that. Well, Jack will be ground on time. Well done, Jack. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very